Okay, solving two-step inequalities is exactly like solving uh, two-step equations, except for the check step, that multiplying or dividing by a negative number, and then graphing your solution. So here I have 2y plus 7 is greater than 11. In order to solve this, remember that what you want to do is start with the constant. So I'm going to get rid of a plus 7 by subtracting 7 on both sides. That leaves me with 2y on the left is greater than 4 on the right. Now that is not a case where you flip the inequality. Remember, it's multiplying or dividing only. So what I'm going to do is divide both sides by this 2. And I have y is greater than 2. I'll come over in my number line. And I have 2, 4, 6, 0, negative 2. And it's greater than... So it's going to be an open dot, and it's going to point to the right. For my check step, I'm going to use the original inequality. 2y plus 7 is greater than 11, and I need to pick something that is greater than 2 for my check step. So I'm going to pick something that's easy to work with. How about if I do 10? 10 is greater than 2. 2 times 10 plus 7 is, great, oops, is greater than 11. What in the world am I doing? I am so sorry. 2 times 10 plus 7 is greater than 11. I have 20 plus 7 is greater than 11. 27 is greater than 11, and it works. Okay, how about if you try 1? Here I have x divided by negative 2 plus 6 is less than negative 14. Go ahead and try it. Pause the video. Okay, first thing you would do is get rid of this 6 by subtracting it from both sides. That leaves x over negative 2 on the left is less than a negative 14 and a negative 6 give me a negative 20. Then I'm going to multiply both sides by a negative 2. Now here is that thing that you have to remember. I'm multiplying by a negative, so my sign flips, and this is greater than a positive 40, because negative times negative is positive. Come down here, I have 40, 42, 44, 38, 36, and it is greater than 40, so it's an open dot. It points to the right. For my check step, I want to use the original inequality, and this is where you got to be careful because this is with the sign the other way, less than negative 14. And here I want to pick something that's going to be divisible by 2. And I pick something that's really easy that's divisible by 2 that's on my solution. I know that 100 is over here, so I'm going to use 100 divided by negative 2 plus 6 should be less than negative 14. This turns out to be negative 50 plus 6, less than negative 14. And then this is negative 44 is less than negative 14, and that is a true statement. Okay, moving on. I have 6x minus 3 is less than or equal to negative 9. Go ahead and try this one yourself. Okay, start by adding 3. And I have 6x's left over is less than or equal to a negative 6. Divide by 6 on both sides. x is less than or equal to a negative 1. Now the sign didn't flip because I divided by a positive on both sides. And I come down here and I have a negative 1 on my line. And then 0 and then 1. And then over here I have negative 2, negative 3. Now, if you're looking and you're saying, well, how come before you skip by ones or by twos and now you're skipping by ones? It doesn't matter what I skip by on my number line as long as I'm consistent. Okay. Now it's less than or equal to, so it's going to be filled in and it's going to point to the left. For my check step, I'm going to use the original inequality. 6x minus 3 is less than or equal to negative 9. And I'm going to use either negative 1 or anything smaller than it. Why don't I just use negative 1 because that would be an easy one to work with. 6 
times negative 1 minus 3 should be less than or equal to negative 9. Negative 6 minus 3 less than or equal to negative 9. And negative 9 is less than or equal to negative 9. It's true because it is equal. Okay? Cool. Moving on. <coughs> 11 minus 4y is less than negative 1. Pause the video and try this, please. Okay, first thing you want to do is get rid of 11 on both sides. Here you have to be careful. Hopefully you realize that what's left over is a negative 4y. So negative 4y is less than negative 12. Then I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 4, which causes the sign to flip. And a negative 12 and a negative 4 is a positive 3. Come down here, I have 3. 4, 5, 2, 1, and it is greater than, so it's going to be an open dot. It's going to point to the right. For my check step, I'm going to use the original inequality, less than negative 1, and I'm going to pick something that satisfies it, so it has to be greater than 3, so then why not just use 4? 11 minus 4 times 4 should be less than negative 1. This is 11 minus 16 is less than negative 1. And that turns out to be a negative 5 is less than negative 1. And that is a true statement. Okay? Last problem. Ooh, love that. 3 plus y divided by 3 is less than 7. Go ahead and pause the video and try and do that one on your own. Okay, first thing you should have done is subtract 3 from both sides. What's left over on the left is y over 3, and on the right I have 4. And what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 3, and y is less than 12. So I come down here, I have 12, 13, 14, 10, 9, and it's going to be less than, so it'll be an open dot. It's going to point to the left. Okay, take my original inequality for the check. 3 plus y over 3 is less than 7. And I'm going to substitute something that's smaller than 12. Well, here again, my beautiful friend the 0. 3 plus 0 over 3, because that makes the whole fraction disappear. And I have 3 is less than 7, which is a true statement. Okay? That is all, my friends. Goodbye.